Good morning, boys and girls! Welcome to a new month and also welcome to Mavuno Kids Online Service! My name is Hypesis alongside Aiki the DJ! And together we have the privilege of leading praise and worship with you. So are you ready? Are you excited? Why don't you get up on your feet? Tell your neighbor, tell your siblings to give you some space because you are ready to dance for the Lord. Are you ready? Let's go! Just move to the side like this. Come on. Nice and simple. We're going to choose to be happy each and every day. And clap. I'm choosing happy so I clap my Now clap hands. your hands. Come on. I'm choosing happy so I clap my And put a hands. smile. Go. I'm choosing happy so I For the joy of the Lord. Let's go. Hands. Come on. The joy of the Lord is my strength. One more time. And this is the day. Let me see you jump. I One, two. Come on. Yes, it is One more time, let me see you jump. Go. Up the low. Everybody now. Let's go. Come on, come on. If you know that victory is your name, just move on and say like this. Hey, hey. Come on, come on, boys and girls. Now, one, two, three, take it down. Uh -huh. Let's go. One more time. Now roll your hands like this. Take it down. Bring it up. Uh -huh, uh -huh. One more time. Let's go. Let's go. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Now let me see you step like this. Come on. Let's go. Now I want to hear you sing as loud as you can. Are you ready? Let's go. I'm celebrating. Turn around, let's go. One more time, turn around the other side. Let me see your dancing shoes. Let's go. There's not. Come on. Put your hands, come on. Make some holy ghost snow. Come on, turn to your neighbor and tell them, neighbor, I love the way you are dancing. All right. So at this moment, I'd just like to invite you to just lift up your hands to Jesus because he's our king, he's our Lord and Savior. Even as you surrender to him, just lift up your hands and just begin to declare that he's our champion and that we are also champions through him and in him. Father, we surrender to you with our hands to that. And this is our response to you, oh God. That without you, we are nothing. Be magnified, oh God. Just lift up your hands to God right now as you sing this song. I've tried so hard to see it. Just sing and say. Took me so long to believe it. Lift your hands, lift it up. You choose someone like me. He has chosen someone like you. To carry Yes, Lord. Perfection could never You have chosen us the way we are. You give what we don't deserve and you take the So now, boys and girls, lift up your hands, open up your mouth and sing as loud as you can to this King of Kings. Just begin to sing and say that you are my champion. Yes, Lord. I am who you say I am. I am who you say I am. Come on. You crown me with confidence. I see the heavenly place. In the heavenly place. And defeated. With the Lord who has conquered. Father, we worship you and we give you all the praise this morning. We thank you because even as we engage in spiritual disciplines, like prayer, like um, Bible study, Almighty God, like fasting, we know that we grow our capacity in, 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 in engaging in victory, oh God. So Lord, how I pray that may you give us the strength, 
May you give us the discipline to be able to engage in such spiritual disciplines, O oh God. Even as you continue with the service, may you be with us. May you enable us to understand everything we are taught. In Jesus' name, pray and believe. Come on, boys and girls, make some noise for Jesus! to see you again. Then I can see you have a new shirt. Yeah, I'm feeling so good this morning and hello teacher. Ivy, how are you? I'm super duper excited to be here and to learn with all my friends who are watching us. Hello friends. Hello, hello Ethan here. Hello. Are you ready? It's a new month and you know what that means? New month? New, New series. series. <laughs> yes, and we are very excited to bring this one because we believe it's going to build you up. But first, let us pray. Okay. Our Heavenly Father, we thank you so much for this week. Thank you for these children who are watching us. Thank you for Ethan, my father. Thank you for this opportunity that you've given unto us, Jehovah God, to continue learning about, about you and even get into the new series, my father. And it is in Jesus' name we pray and believe. Amen. 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 And hey, we are now all set to dive in. So drop it, Teacher Ivy. Okay, so here it goes, boys and girls. Our new series is called Drum Rolls <laughs> Spiritual Discipline. Uh, uh oh. Uh oh. What? Am I in trouble? I. Maybe I should run because I just had the word discipline. Are you going to beat me now? Are you going to, to chapa? No, Ethan, no. That's, that's not the case. Don't be scared, Ethan. It simply means those behaviors that fuel our spiritual growth and enable us to become spiritually mature. Without them, we stay spiritually immature and weak in our faith. Oh, oh okay, teacher. Um, we we'll are get it now. <laughs> I thought I was going to get disciplined. <laughs> anyway, so... What is spiritual disciplines are these? There are spiritual disciplines found in the Bible, but in this month's series, we shall learn about four of them. First, mm -hmm. reading the Bible. Two, praying. Three, fasting and evangelism. Our objective is to help every child cultivate and strengthen their spiritual disciplines so that they can be fit as... Um, Followers of Jesus, what four spiritual disciplines are we going to discuss, Ethan? Uh, well, um, reading the word mm -hmm. and praying, yes, uh, fasting mm -hmm. and evangelism. Good, boys and girls, let's let us clap for Ethan. <laughs> Thank you. So, do you know what plants need to in order to grow, Ethan? Oh uh, yeah, our um, our science teacher mm -hmm. um, taught us that plants need water, uh -huh. air, space, nutrients, and light to grow and become fruitful. Hey, I can see you're very smart, Ethan. Yeah. Boys and girls, <laughs> let us clap for him again. Oh, oh man, you're spoiling me now. In the same way, we too need certain elements to keep growing in our faith and be like this plant. So over here we have a plant, Ethan. Mm -hmm. You can see it, right? Yeah, it looks it's nice. It's very green. 
Yeah. And it looks so good, right? Mm-hmm. It is very healthy. It has had water, air, space, nutrients, all, all these things that you've said. But to start us off, we shall see why reading the Bible is so very important for every child of God. The Bible is God's word. This word is food for our spirits. Um, do you mean uh, do our spirits get hungry like the, uh, like our tummies? <laughs> Um, in, in, in a way, in a way, yes. You see, our spirits are made in the image of God. Mm-hmm. And God is spirit. To interact with him and know him, we must feed our spirits with spiritual food, which is God's word. Wow. You know, Teacher Ivy, my mommy told me that the word of, the word mm-hmm. of God is, is, is light. Wow, it sounds like your mommy really cooks yummy food. Yeah, of course she does. <laughs> so God's word is light too. God's word is many things to us. It is life, healing, power, strength, wisdom, correction, and many more definitions. But let's stay with the light. Imagine you are on a camp, you are on a camping trip at night, you have your flashlight, but if you turn it off, you might trip over a rock or step in a puddle. That wouldn't be fun. Oh, Would no. it? It wouldn't. No way. You know, I don't want to, to get soggy socks. Exactly. Soggy socks are not fun. The word of God gives us light by teaching us the truth. It helps us the right way to go in life, guiding us to make good choices and avoid soggy socks movement. Boys and girls, turn to your Bibles and let's read 2 Timothy 3, 16 to 17. Mm-hmm. All scripture is God-breathed and is useful for teaching, rebuking, correcting, and training in righteousness so that the servant of God may be thoroughly equipped for every good work. As you can see, God's word teaches us to rebuke us, correct us, and train us in righteousness. Spending time reading the Bible is like spending time with a trainer or a coach. We get to learn some things and unlearn others. We get corrected when we go wrong. Hey, teacher Ivy. Yes? Um, tell me, how often should we read the Bible? Um... Ethan, how often do you eat? Um, well, every day my mom cooks the most delicious mouth-watering food and I can't miss a day. It must be really yummy, right? Yeah, of course. Just like our bodies need food every day, our hearts and minds need God's word every day. Reading the Bible daily helps us grow in our faith and stay close to God. Yeah, so we feed our spirit with God's word um, to, sp- to stay spiritually fit, right? That's right. It keeps us strong and healthy in our faith. We learn more about God, about ourselves, how to live life that pleases our Lord. Just like a tree gets its food as the roots go deep. Spending time reading the book, reading the word of God depends our faith. The deeper we go, the more we grow in Christ's likeness. Wow. So does that mean I can I can have Bible time with my snacks? <laughs> Absolutely. Bible time and snacks time makes a great combo. Imagine just having your snack and at the same time you're reading your Bible. Wow, thank you, Teacher Ivy. I can't wait to read my Bible even more. The deeper I go, the more I grow in Christ's likeness. Wow, how wonderful. Very wonderful, boys and girls. Are you still there? This month, our memory verses, our memory verse comes from Psalms 119 to 119, verse 105. It says, Your word is a lamp to my feet and a light to my path. Let's all sing along with Hype Says. Let's go! Your word is a lamp for my feet. I keep it, you? Even heaven is locked in on this one. Your word is a lamp for my feet. Your word is a lamp for my feet. Your word
Boys and girls, our world can be very dark with many evil things happening around us. The truth found in God's words comes to give us light and direction. It lights the step we are on and the way before us. Let's be diligent in reading our Bibles and memorizing verses like our verse for this month. Wow, you know, I love, I love the memory verse. Hey friends, I hope, I hope you're still reading the New Testament. You know, reading will help us grow closer to God and fill our life with peace and joy. Wow. That's it for today, boys and girls. We hope to see you next week. This week, go all intentional in cultivating the, the, the spiritual discipline of reading God's word. Keep your Bibles close and enjoy God's word daily. It's sweet as honey. So let us pray. Our Heavenly Father, we thank you so much for this lesson that you've given unto us. The teaching that Jehovah God you've given to these kids. The wisdom that you're giving them. Oh my Father, the knowledge that you are feeding them. My Father, may they grow in spiritual discipline. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. 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 And you know, everyone, it has been a wonderful, a very inspiring lesson today. And you know, the more challenged, we are more challenged to read the Bible because it is our light. Yes. So see you again next week. Bye-bye.